National School Counseling Week is February 7th through 11th, and I'm gonna help you plan for it. In this video, I'm gonna share six other activities that you can do to promote yourself as a school counselor and celebrate National School Counseling Week. So I hope that you watched part one in this video because this is a two-part series. Welcome back to my channel. My name is John and I'm a school counselor that loves supporting other counselors. On this channel, I help you plan your events, interventions, and programs to help you work smarter and not harder. You can host a coffee with the counselor session or something similar to that, where you set office hours, allow the staff to come in and talk to you, and have refreshments or treats for them. Last year I did this and I bought them donuts, I got them water, and I just allowed them to come in and just talk to me. Um, they could tell me how their year was going, they could tell me some of the things that they were struggling with. This was just a time for me to listen to them and be available. I also provided resources like coping skills and mental health resources. If you get value from these videos, I need you to subscribe to this channel and like this video. One way to show people what we do in our profession is to show them with data and numbers. So this is a time where you can document all the uh, interventions that you've done, the programs, the events that you've hosted this school year and show people rather than tell them what you do. I use this site called pickthechart.com and it organized all of my data into this awesome visual. It also broke down how many small groups that I completed, how many counseling lessons that I shared, and what kind of presentations that I provided throughout the school year. So it really helped you to organize all of your data and put it into a nice visual that you can share with stakeholders. Morning announcements are always fun to share, and so you can go to ASCA's website, schoolcounselor.org, and download some free morning announcements. You can get on the intercom yourself and share these morning announcements, or you can have students share them. They document what we do as school counselors, and they talk about the importance of our role. The next activity you can share with students is really fun and it allows them to show their competitive side. You can play games with them. So I've done this on Kahoot or Blukit. You can create questions about the role of a school counselor. You can do true false. It's a really competitive and fun learning experience and it's a great way to promote ourselves and our role. And if you've ever played Kahoot before, Kahoot is really fun, but Blukit is something new that I just found out about. And it's a great way to provide some variety to classroom uh, competitions and games. You can have students dress up as a school counselor. I've done this before and I used to wear bow ties to work a lot. And so students would come in and they would dress up like me and wear bow ties and like slacks and dress shoes. They see everything we do, hear everything that we say, and we are their role models. So it's fun to see them dress up as us. On the net show, they have this lesson plan called Friendship Soup, and I revise it to be Counselor Soup. Have students come up with the recipe for what the perfect counselor is. They'll add ingredients to this recipe and make the perfect counselor soup. In the Friendship Soup example, they added two sticks of kindness, a gallon of goofiness, three cups of having fun, three pints of honesty, a cup of safety. This activity was a great way for students to share and verbalize what their counselor means to them and what they see and need from a counselor. What do you plan on doing to celebrate National School Counselor Week? Drop it in the comments below. And be sure to check out the first video in this series where I shared six other activities that you can do to celebrate National School Counseling Week. It'll be on the screen.